Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, and this is the question I got asked. Is there a way to create custom page sizes in Google Docs? I'm going to show you what you can do here. I'm going to show you an alternative solution. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of this content for you. All right, you can see I'm in a Google Doc. I'm in my Gmail account. I can do the same thing that will apply to my uh, Google Workspace account. If I go to File and I go to Page Setup, I can have pages, and under paper size, I can choose these options. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different size options for pages here. Whether it's portrait or landscape, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 11 different paper sizes. That's changing paper sizes, but that's not custom. Now, there is an interesting little feature here called Pageless. And pages formats allows you to do, you know, put wide images and tables and consume content without the interruption of page breaks. I haven't played with that. Might need to play with it. Might be interesting. I don't know how I would print that, but that is good for uh, what's called consuming or reading content uh, that you created in Google Docs. But I'm going to go back to pages and I'm going to show you another option for custom page sizes. Let me do cancel here. Now I went to Google um, Workspace in Google Workspace. Just just do a search for Google Workspace uh, Marketplace. And by the way, Google Workspace Marketplace also works for free Gmail. Okay, so for for the most part. Now I did a search for page size, and I found this uh, plugin or add-on or extension called Page Sizer. Easily set custom page sizes. There's 470 plus thousand downloads there's 309 people with opinions about it usually opinions are going to be less than a five um, and then you have the ability to install it now i i read through this before i hit the install button so i can make sure it's something that i feel comfortable doing i'm going to hit install i'm going to hit continue wants to know what account i want to install it for i'm going to select that now I have to allow it to see edit documents, display and run third-party content on and, and Google applications. That's typical. It's what I would expect. And then I want to hit allow. Now if I really want to be deliberate, I'm going to look at privacy policy and I'm going to go look at page sizer online. But I've already done that research. I feel comfortable. Always research the extensions you use. I'm going to hit allow. And it shows up, it says add-on, but it's not an add-on, it's an extension. That's slightly old old wording. So I'm going to hit done. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Doc. Now I have to hit refresh because I've changed this. Now, under extensions, page sizer. And I can set page size. Hit set page size. Now, look here. I can do it in inches, millimeters, or points. I can make this any almost anything I want. I've tried four by four, four by five, maybe postcard size. You got to measure the page you want it to be on first, and then hit apply. And look, these are four by four pages. Now they're four by four pages with big borders. Let me go ahead and and do a page setup. Let me change the margins to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 top, bottom, left, and hit OK. It reverted when I change the uh, margins it reverted back so now I have to go to extensions page sizer set page and look it went back to eight so I'm gonna do four by four apply okay I was able to change it back you can see it kept the point two top bottom left right margins now I have a four by four page now what I haven't tested is printing I don't have uh, paper that's four by four. I could probably print it on regular paper. I think it would probably print in the middle. But bottom line is I did create a custom page size by using the um, extension page sizer. By the way, I'm not here to give you any validation of the value of page sizer. I'm not recommending it. I only discovered it and it's worthy of you to explore it and test it for yourself. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.